Hi guys, it's Erin for Red Carpet Report at the screening of An American Werewolf in London for Universal's Legacy of Horror. But we're here and we're excited and I want to know why we are still talking about this movie. Because it's entertaining. I, I think that um, any movie that works, works. Peter Bogdanovich is a wonderful director and used to be a critic before that. Um, Peter said, the only true test of a movie is time. And it's true. If you look at Casablanca or Wizard of Oz, those movies are incredible. Oh, yeah. Or Bride of Frankenstein or the movies they're showing here. Sure. You know, they, it's, those movies are a lot older than 35 years, you know, and they work. They're great. Yeah. So I guess people enjoy it. Speaking of movies, older movies, what's your favorite classic movie? I don't have a favorite. It's tough. It's impossible. I, I hate, you know those 100 best or 10 best? I think that's really horseshit. Cause, yeah? Sure, because you could say, I love Walt Disney's Pinocchio. And you could say, I love um, Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. Sure. What do those films have in common? How is one better than the other? It's true. You have to yeah, have I, I really. Well, we're talking. I know. Everybody's on guard. We are in our own horror movie right now. Uh, but horror has really changed since this movie. Do you think it's changed for the better? Do you mean from the influence of this movie? Um, I don't know. Storylines. The, no, the storylines haven't changed at all. There's, there's fashions, like torture became popular. But in fact, it's the same stories over and over and over again. There aren't new stories. Do you think they're done better? Neither. I think some are good, some are not. Yeah. I, a movie I thought was great. The last great horror picture I saw was probably... I really loved... Pan, um, oh shit. The Devil's Backbone, it was called. It was a Guillermo del Toro ghost movie. Okay. And I really loved the Swedish vampire movie, Let the Right One In. Okay. I didn't see the American remake, but the Swedish one is brilliant. Okay. So I... You know, Bride of Frankenstein's one of my favorite movies, King Kong. And I'm very, je I'm going to London tomorrow. Uh, my wife's curating a show at the Victoria and Albert that everyone should see called Hollywood Costume, which is going to be amazing. But what, they're, what I'm upset about is here at the Academy as part of this series, they're showing the creature from the Black Lagoon in a brand new print in 3D on that very big screen. And I would love to see that. Yeah. It's, it's the best 3D movie, and it's a wonderful movie. Gotcha. Well, you're going to be traveling. Halloween is coming up. So do you ever dress up for Halloween? I remember I was uh, when Rick Baker opened his lab, he had a big party, a big Halloween party. I remember Christopher Lee was there, and he was wearing a suit, you know, and I said, Chris, what's your costume? He said, I came as Christopher Lee. <laughs> and I thought, yeah, okay. Uh, no, I tell you, Halloween for me has become weird because the make because of um, I made this film with Michael Jackson, Thriller, uh -huh. and every Halloween they show it and show it and show it, and they show the making of Thriller, in which you know that was a long time ago. So I'm thin and my hair is black. It's it's like my own Dorian Gray. <laughs> so Halloween has weird kind of you know. I saw a <laughs> That's interesting coming from someone who has done one of the most classic horror films of all time, but. Um, so, question for you that I think a lot of your fans want to know is, will we ever see a movie of See You Next Wednesday? Oh, I don't, unless someone else makes it, but not me. What is, what is the fascination with that? It's, you know, I think you'll be disappointed, and I don't, it's really since the internet that people have noticed that. It's not in all my movies. It's in about half of them. Sure. I wrote a script called, See You Next Wednesday is a line of dialogue from 2001. And I wrote a script called See You Next Wednesday that's not very good, but it has stuff in it that I cannibalize. And if I ever use a gag or a scene or dialogue from that script, I always credit it <laughs> in the movie. But it, see, aren't you disappointed? You know? Well, not until you tell me you're not going to make it. I want you to make this movie. Well, you got some money? I'll, you're sure. We'll, we'll sit down and have coffee. <laughs> okay. I like it. It was great to meet you. Very nice have to a meet great you. time.